Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, guess what I'm doing? I'm headed to Costco, and you know why? Because Victor is getting married this Saturday, and I made a big mistake. Yesterday, I asked Victor and his soon-to-be wife, Brenna, hey, is there anything that you all need for your wedding? Because they're just having a very small wedding, just family members, and that's it. And then this summer, they're gonna go ahead and have a big wedding reception and all that stuff where everyone is invited, right? So anyways, I asked him, what do you need? And he said, well, can you make some Sancocho? And I'm like, what? And he said, yeah, can you make some Sancocho for our smaller reception we're gonna be having? And I said, well, for how many people? He said, for about 10 or 15. And I said, oh my goodness, do you know how long it takes me to make that? <laughs> so of course, here I am at Costco. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more oxtail to replenish the ones that I'm gonna use to make this big batch of Sancocho. And at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and do a price check. So ladies and gentlemen, from what I understand, things have gone up in price. And we're gonna go ahead and check some of those things today. I know for a fact, that some things have gone up in price a pretty good amount. So we're gonna check those out, but really, I don't know what I'm gonna to find today. I'm just here to get oxtail, okay? But let's see what else I get myself into. I always get in trouble when I come here. This is the house generator that I have, and it is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. It does a great job. It is a tri-fuel. It uses gasoline, propane, and or natural gas. And look at the wattage options that you get for each type of fuels. Outstanding generator. I can't say anything but good about it. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is a great deal for a two-pack. $15 for a two-pack of these fire extinguishers. They're like one-time use, but man, I'll tell you what, when you need them, you'll be glad that you had them. So two of these are gonna end up in my basket. Now remember when these used to be $27 on sale? It may not sound like a lot, ladies and gentlemen, but that's a 10% increase. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our laundry detergent of choice. And these used to be $18.99. Now they're $19.99. Again, these prices may not sound like a lot, but that is a 5% increase. Now when you start adding up all of these little percentages, by the time that your basket is full, it's going to make a big difference and your ending balance. Now every time that I see these, I wanna pick some up because they last forever and I know that we're gonna use them eventually. Now ladies and gentlemen, these used to be regularly priced at about 11 and change dollars and now their regular price is $14, $10.49 on sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick me up one of each. Sorry about the banging in the background, there's no Christmas music going on anymore, so I'm able to record my voice as I'm shopping. So that's just the collateral damage that our ears get whenever I get to shop and actually not have to voice over. And look at this, we're getting to the garbage bags. I wanna show you how much the garbage bags have gone up. These are the garbage bags that we normally get. Now there's still 200 bags to the box. But now they're $19.99 instead of $16.99. And the paper plates, ladies and gentlemen, if I remember correctly, these paper plates, the smaller ones, used to be around $13, $14, dollars $19 now. Now, if you're looking for some nice, fashionable winter coats for your pups, check that out. Isn't that something? <laughs> and only $29.99 and one thing that I've noticed ladies and gentlemen is that their cat food section is now down to only two types these are the only two types of cat foods that they sell here at Costco the price is not terrible but this is all they have to offer 
And ladies and gentlemen, I always used to rave about how inexpensive they used to sell these for. This is the three pack of sandwich rolls that they sell here at Costco. And I remember them being less than $6 for a three pack. And I always ask, man, how can they sell them so cheap? $8.89. So about $2 more than what they used to be in the past. Now listen, I don't blame Costco for this. I mean, if they don't raise their prices, how are they gonna stay in business? You know, they have to pay for all of this inflation just like we all do. So either they raise their prices or they won't be able to afford to restock their stuff once it runs out. Their chicken is pretty much wiped out. They do have some wings left, $2.99 a pound, but not much. And that's all they have left is wings, ladies and gentlemen. That's all the chicken they have left is wings. And they still have a few varieties of cheap meat left. Here we have our 1288 ground beef for $4.49 a pound. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is what an awesome deal I got last time. If you remember my last video where I picked up several of these packets that were being sold for $9.99 a piece, that was my savings. I saved $13 on each pack because they were one day before the best buy date or expiration date. So pretty pricey, but this is very good quality meat indeed. And here's their USDA. So it seems that they don't have very many cheap cuts of meat. I mean, everything they have here is pretty expensive. The, the cheapest cut of meat that they had was the chicken and just about all of it is gone. We'll see if they've got some pork here down the line. But here's some uh, chuck roast, chuck pot roast for $7.49. Here's some New York strip for $10.99. Pretty small choice. Here's some ribs, $4.29 a pound. I remember when the brisket was like $3 a pound, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. $5.49 a pound for brisket. And your pork chops, $2.69 a pound. $2.99 a pound for boneless ribs. It's not bad, a buck ninety-nine a pound for a pork shoulder. Good news though, we've got toilet paper for twenty-one forty-nine. Remember, it used to be nineteen ninety-nine, and we've got uh, paper towels for twenty-two forty-nine. I don't remember exactly what the paper towels used to be, but they were less than twenty dollars. And if you haven't gotten these yet, ladies and gentlemen, $17.99 for your 900 count baby wipes. Now, that's still about a dollar more than what they used to be regular price. And now they're on sale, $4 off. But I think that's the best price you're going to get going forward. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This is all the beef tail they have left. They have one like seven packs of beef tail left and look at that the price is actually not terrible it's $8.99 a pound so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick me up at least a couple of these then Now here is what we pay for the eggs that we use, $7.39, these are free range organic for two dozen. The uh, regular eggs, the USDA grade AA, $4.89 for two dozen. And then these eggs, I believe come from Washington, there's two dozen for $6.89. And I just noticed that they're all out of gallon-sized milk containers. The only thing they have is these half-gallon 
size containers that come in packs of threes. And you're looking at $11.79 for one and a half gallons. However, this is the organic stuff. And I do believe that I showed this last time, but there are four pounds of butter that used to be, initially they used to be $7.99, then they went up to $8.99, then $9.99, now they're $10.49. So here in the last year, it's gone up, I would say, a little more than 25-30% for the same amount of butter. And I would have to say that this is actually not a terrible price for Kerrygold. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you all remember that a 50-pound bag of flour was like $17, $18 about a year ago or so. We're at $23 now. The 25 pound bag of uh, regular all purpose flour, 10 bucks. And the 50 pound bag of all purpose flour, $22. Which it makes really no sense. 50 pounds for $22, but 25 pounds for less than $10. Our pinto beans went up from like $16 to $23 for a 25 pound bag. And our rice hasn't really changed in price. $20 for the 25 pound bag of cow rose and $37 for the 50 pound bag. And they don't have any 50 pound bags of white long grain rice, but they have 25 pound bags for just shy of $13. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't tried this, give it a try. It is really, really good. It's a Parmesan that's flavored with black garlic and truffle. Very tasty on pasta. And holy smokes, look at this. A 25 pound bag of sugar. $20. Now that's a heck of an increase right there. Yeast is still available and a very good price. So go ahead and pick yourself up some yeast if you don't have any. This is the brand that I have, and I've had some for years, that it's still good. And holy caramba, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. This is canola oil. I remember this oil being, these two, being like 8 or $9 for the two-pack. $14.69. That's almost a 100% increase. I would say that's about 70% increase. And your vegetable oil, same thing. These used to be less than $10 per. Now they're almost $15. That is a heck of a price increase right there. And ladies and gentlemen, this hasn't changed in price, but in the last year and a half or so, look at this. These used to be less than $20 for two of these. Now they're $30.49. You know, to a person that makes six figures, this may not sound like it's a big increase because it's not. Because, ladies and gentlemen, what you have to understand is that wealthy people don't have to work for their money. They have their wealth in assets. And as inflation goes up, their asset prices go up. So they don't have to worry about these measly price increases. To them, it doesn't matter. But to you and me, the people that actually have to work for a living and earn a living wage, we're the ones that are paying for it, not them. So you remember that every time you hear the word stimulus. I remember when I first started buying this table salt, that it was less than $4. That was years ago, probably about six, seven years ago when I first started buying these. They were like $3 and change. And over the years, of course, that's what happens. That's what inflation does, ladies and gentlemen. Don't fool yourselves and don't let anyone tell you that inflation is good for the economy. Because if they do say that, they are flat out lying. Now, ladies and gentlemen, someone needs to go to jail for this. $21.59 for what once was $19.99. That is a crime, ladies and gentlemen. That is a crime. They also have the less sodium, but not for less. And it seems like the Vienna sausages just keep going up in price as well. Although I will be saving a lot of money 
on Vienna sausages once Victor is finally married off. <laughs> Don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do it. Remember, you get what you pay for. And you all know that nutrient survival is the very best. Now, this is what I like about Costco's. That you never know what you're going to find. Now, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Is this pretty or what? It is called an olive melange. Olive melange. And it is just an awesome little bottle full of different types of olives with chilies. And it's not bad. It's only $10.99. See, this is what Costco does. They get you hooked on this stuff and then they ramp up the prices. But you know what? They got me because I got to grab one of these. I'll let you all know what this is like once I try them. But in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, everything seems to be pretty decently stocked. There are some items that are missing, like the 50 pound bags of rice that are no longer available, of the long grain rice. And uh, of course, there are some items that have really gone up in price a good amount, but we all knew that was coming. Now, the good news is this, is that there's still stuff available. Go and get what you need now because it's only going to go up in price more and scarcity may become an issue in the future. Now, let me show you this real quick. This is a great money saver right here. $3.79 for a number 10 can of crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce. Now, you can use one can of tomato sauce like this to make a really nice batch of spaghetti sauce. You can add a little bit of meat or sausage to it. Uh, usually what I'll do is this, I'll add a few cans of crushed tomato to it to give it a little bit of texture, add some spices, excellent tomato or spaghetti sauce at a pretty good price. And let me tell you what, one pound of spaghetti plus one of these cans of tomato sauce with all the little spices I put in there, maybe a couple pounds of ground beef, that'll feed my family three meals easily. So it'll give us about 12, 15 meals easily. And you're looking at what, maybe $15 to make all that food. These are some of the things that you want to be looking at if you're on a budget. And if you have not tried this marinara sauce, we like it for like dipping mozzarella sticks and for dipping our pizza crust in it, things like that. Outstanding marinara sauce. We don't really use it for spaghetti, but we do use it for whenever we make a pizza or whenever we want to dip our pizza crust. Very good. Not that bad. It's $10.59 for a two-pack, but I'll tell you what, the quality is outstanding. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to definitely pick ourselves up a couple of these because we've gone through a couple here in the last week or so. You all know I've been a little under the weather and I'll tell you what, this works great. This stuff works really, really good. So I'm going to pick up a couple of these just to have them. And I'm also going to pick up some vapor rub. You know why? Because I also use some vapor rub. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am a big baby. I am a big baby and... That's all right. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it. I got everything I need, of course. I only came here for oxtail, but I'm leaving with a few more things that I'm glad I found. All right. So having said that, thank you very much for joining in. All right. hope you had a little bit of fun checking out the prices. Unfortunately, elevated prices of what they used to be. However, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. At least we know, and at least we can do something about it now. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I am out.